Hi dears, Asalaamu Alaikum. Today we are going to start our new chapter, Quest for a Theory of Everything. In our previous chapter, APJ Abdul Kalam advised everybody, especially the youth, to be unique in his or her own way. There are many people who have proved their uniqueness even by fighting adversities and limitations. Can a person be judged by appearance alone? No, a person cannot be judged by appearance alone. Many great men in history did not have a great appearance. For example, Napoleon Bonaparte was a very short person like Franklin Roosevelt, one of the greatest American presidents, spent most of his working hours in wheelchair and he walked with uh, leg braces and canes. Mother Teresa did not appear a robust person, but she was really great. Now, I remember our former president APJ Abdul Kalam Scott. I am not a handsome guy, but I give my hands to someone. We all know that APJ Abdul Kalam is not a handsome guy, but all people liked him very much because the attraction is based on not only appearance, but also character. Here we are going to learn Stephen Hawking's biography by Kitty Gail Ferguson. This biography reveals how he has overcome his disabilities to become the supernova of physics. Okay. Just to read, read about the author. Kitty Gail Ferguson, born December 16, 1941, is an American science writer, lecturer, and a formal professional musician. She has written several science books for lay persons and youth including books on biographical facts and the social background in which scientific developments have taken place. Ferguson's work are recognized for their degree of details and accuracy. She is known for her ability to explain very complicated scientific concept. Okay, before going to our chapter, I like to show you a video of Stephen, Stephen Hawking. Okay, let's watch. Stephen William Hawking he is a theoretical physicist and cosmologist. He was born on January 8, 1942, in Oxford, England. His father's name was Frank Hawking, and mother's name was Isabel Hawking. His father was a medical researcher, and mother was one of the first female students who has graduated from Oxford University. His father wanted him to study medicine, but he decided to pursue mathematics. However, as the subject was not taught at the University College Oxford, at that time he took up physics. He graduated in 1962 and joined Trinity Hall, Cambridge for PhD in cosmology. He got married with Jane White in 14 July 1965, at the age of 23. They got three children. Hawking became a member of the Institute of Astronomy at Cambridge in 1968, and the discoveries of cosmologist Roger Penrose on Black Hole really fascinated him. In 1970, Hawking discovered the second law of black hole dynamics, and he proposed the four laws of black hole mechanics. In 1973, he became a fellow of the Royal Society. In 1975, he was awarded the Eddington Medal and the Pius XI Gold Medal, followed by the Danny Hyman Prize, the Maxwell Prize, etc. Hawking appointed as a professor in gravitational physics in 1977 and received the Albert Einstein Medal and an honorary doctorate from the University of Oxford. In 1979, he gradually started losing control over his speech and then he appointed as the Lucasian Professor of Mathematics at the Cambridge University. In 1985, he lost his voice after a tracheotomy. As a result of this, he required 24-hour care. A Californian computer programmer invented a speaking program that could be directed by head or eye movement. In 1988, Hawking published A Brief History of Time, which was a simplified version of cosmology for the masses. 
the book became an instant bestseller. Selling more than 10 million copies in 20 years. He wrote, The Universe in Nutshell, A Briefer History of Time, God Created the Integers, George's Secret Key to the Universe, etc. He made constant appearance on television during this period, in documentaries like, The Real Stephen Hawking, Hawking, Stephen Hawking, Master of the Universe, etc. The couple separated in 1990 and divorced in 1995. Hawking married to his nurse, Elaine Mason, in 16 September, 1995, at the age of 53. The second marriage lasted only for 11 years, and the couple got divorced in 2006. Hawking retired as Lucasian Professor of Mathematics in 2009. He has continued to work as a director of research at the Department of Applied Mathematics and Theoretical Physics. In 2010, he co-wrote a book with Leonard Mladeno, titled The Grand Theory, which focused on the universe and 11 dimensions of M-theory. In an interview with ABC News, he said one kind proof that God does not exist. That science makes God unnecessary. In 2015, Hawking became a part of the Breakthrough Initiative a program funded by Russian billionaire Yuri Milner to research for life in a universe, which is a hundred million dollar project that will search one million stars for artificial or laser signals. He died in 14 March 2018 at Cambridge, England, at the age of 76. We need to find another planet to live on within 100 years. Human aggression and nuclear technology will kill us in the end. Robots will take over the world," said Stephen Hawking. Okay, let's watch. Okay, let's start. Cuts for a theory of everything. Kitty Gale Ferguson in the Cockcroft Lecture Room on April 29, 1980. Scientists and university dignita dignitaries gathered in steep tires of seats facing a two-story wall of chalkboard and slide screen. The occasion was the inaugural address, sorry, inaugural lecture by a new Eucasian professor of mathematics, the 38-year-old mathematician and physicist Stephen Hawking. In the Cockcroft lecture room, Cockcroft lecture room, a college le lectures and scientists and dignitaries allow it to be a good idea for you rather wait to do it again facing a two-story wall of chalkboard and story means the uh, tires of seats no matter layers layers of seats facing a two-story wall of chalkboard and slide screen at a screen a correct it then i can okay to get over the occasion was the inaugural lecture by a new Lucasian, Lucasian professor of mathematics. Mathematics in a Pudhiya Uri Lucasian professor in a inaugural lecture and not another The 30 year, 38 year old mathematician and physicist Stephen Hawking. The 38 year old age is Stephen Hawking in the inaugural address in a way to do the weekend. Our scientist and dignitary is allowed. Next, the title of the lecture was a question. Is the end inside of theoretical physics? Hawking startled his listeners by announcing that he thought it was. He invited them to join him in a sensational escape through time and space to find the holy grail, holy grail of science. The theory that explains the universe and everything that happens in it. The title of the lecture was a question. Our lecturing that come bola. Our lecturing in the title when the question here. In the question is the end in sight of the theoretical physics. Theoretical physics in the avasanam ayo. Hawking startled. Startled means surprised. Startled his listeners by announcing that he thought it was. Our day in the audience na ka alpudha padhti konde Hawking swaranyu adai. The theoretical physics it was an I. He invited them join to join to 
he invited them to join him in a sensational escape through a time and space adeham avade illa aa adithigale ellavareyum adeham invite cheyane endine oru sahasika yathrike through a time and space time iludeyum space iludeyum ponda oru sahasika yathrike vendi adeham avade illa ellavareyum shenichu to find the holy grail holy grail means the cup said to be used by jesus christ at the last supper of saints holy grail holy grail saints in holy grail like the theory that explains the universe and everything that happens in it avade illa theory explain cheynathu adayathu avaru povunna sahasika yathrayile avare avade illa siddhantham aa adile illa siddhantham explain cheyna endine kurichane universe ne kurichum and everything that happens in it adile sambhavikkunna sambhavangale kurichu vayirunnu next stephen uh, hawking sat silently in a wheelchair while one of his students read his lecture to the assembled company judged by appearance alone hawking did not seem a promising choice to lead any adventure stephen hawking sat silently in a wheelchair stephen hawking is silent at wheelchair il irikkana adhehathinte oru student read a lecture to to the assembled company avada vannirikkana athrayum velli scientist inde munnil adhehathinte oru student aanu adhehathinte lecture endu cheyyunnathu read cheyyunnathu judged by appearance alone hawking did not seem a promising choice to lead any adventure judged by appearance പക്ഷെ അപ്പിയറൻസ് നോക്കി അദ്ദേഹത്തെ ജഡ്ജ് ചെയ്യുകയാണെങ്കിൽ ഒരിക്കലും ഹോക്കിങ്സിന് ഇത്രയും വലിയൊരു സാഹസികത സാഹസിക യാത്രയ്ക്ക് പോകാനുള്ള ആരോഗ്യം ഉണ്ടെന്ന് നമുക്ക് എന്ത് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റില്ല ആലോചിക്കാൻ കഴിയില്ല സ്റ്റീഫൻ വില്യം ഹോക്കിങ്സ് വാസ് ബോൺ ഓൺ എയ്റ്റ് ജാനുവരി നയൻറ്റീൻ ഫോർട്ടി ടു ഇൻ ഓക്സ്ഫോർഡ് ഇംഗ്ലണ്ട് ഇറ്റ് വാസ് എക്സാക്ട്ലി ത്രീ ഹൺഡ്രഡ് ഇയേഴ്സ് ആഫ്റ്റർ ദ ഡെത്ത് ഓഫ് ഗലീലിയോ the father of modern science stephen hawking was born adhehathinte janmadinam endane 8 january 1942 evadeya in oxford england it was exactly 300 years after the death of galileo galileo merichu 300 varsham thegiyuna aa time ilana aaru janikkunade stephen hawking janikkunade the father of modern science who is the father of modern science galileo okay Frank and Isabel Hawking Stephen's parents were not wealthy but they believed in the value of education so they planned for Stephen go to Westminster a famous public school in the heart of London unfortunately Stephen was ill at the time of scholarship examination for Westminster therefore he attended the local St Albans school Frank and Isabel Hawking <coughs> Frank Hawking and സ്റ്റീഫൻ ഹോക്കിങ്ങിന്റെ ഫാദർ ഇസബൽ ഹോക്കിങ് സ്റ്റീഫൻ ഹോക്കിങ്സിന്റെ മദർ സ്റ്റീഫൻ പാരൻസ് വി ആർ നോട്ട് വെൽത്തി അവർ അത്രയ്ക്കും വലിയ കാശുകാരൊന്നും അല്ലായിരുന്നു ബട്ട് ദ ബിലീവ് ഇറ്റ് ദ വാല്യൂ ഓഫ് എഡ്യൂക്കേഷൻ പക്ഷെ അവർക്ക് എഡ്യൂക്കേഷന്റെ വാല്യൂ നന്നായിട്ട് അറിയുന്നവരായിരുന്നു സോ ദ പ്ലാൻ ടു സ്റ്റീഫൻ ടു ഗോ ടു വെസ്റ്റ് മിനിസ്റ്റർ എ ഫേമസ് പബ്ലിക് സ്കൂൾ ഇൻ എ ഹാർട്ട് ഓഫ് ലണ്ടൻ ലണ്ടനിലുള്ള ഏറ്റവും ഫേമസ് ആയുള്ള ഒരു സ്കൂളിൽ സ്റ്റീഫൻ ഹോക്കിങ്സിനെ പഠിപ്പിക്കണം എന്നായിരുന്നു അവരുടെ ആഗ്രഹം അൺഫോർച്ചുനേറ്റ്ലി നിർഭാഗ്യവശാൽ സ്റ്റീഫൻ വാസ് ഇൽ അറ്റ് ദ ടൈം ഓഫ് സ്കോളർഷിപ്പ് എക്സാമിനേഷൻ വാസ് ഫോർ വെസ്റ്റ് മിനിസ്റ്റർ വെസ്റ്റ് മിനിസ്റ്ററിൽ നടന്ന സ്കോളർഷിപ്പ് എക്സാമിനേഷനിൽ ആർക്ക് പങ്കെടുക്കാൻ കഴിഞ്ഞില്ല സ്റ്റീഫൻ ഹോക്കിങ്സിന് പങ്കെടുക്കാൻ കഴിഞ്ഞില്ല അദ്ദേഹത്തിന് സുഖമില്ലാതായിരുന്നു ദർ ഫോർ ഹി അറ്റൻഡ് ദ ലോക്കൽ സെയിൻറ്റ് ആൽബൻസ് സ്കൂൾ അതുകൊണ്ട് അദ്ദേഹത്തിൻ്റെ സ്കൂൾ ഏത് എവിടെ സ്കൂൾ കാലഘട്ടം ഏത് സ്കൂളിലായിരുന്നു അസൻ സെയിൻറ്റ് ആൽബൻസ് സ്കൂൾ ഓക്കെ നെക്സ്റ്റ് പാരഗ്രാഫ് ബൈ ദ ടൈം ഹി വാസ് എയ്റ്റ് ഹി വാസ് തിങ്കിങ് സീരിയസ്ലി അബൌട്ട് ബിക്കമിങ് എ സയൻറ്റിസ്റ്റ് Frank Hawking encouraged his son to follow him into medicine but Stephen found biology too imprecise he wanted a subject in which he could look for exact answers and get to the root of things adathin 8 years undayirikkumbe thane adhem endine kuriche scientist avanam nalladine kuriche ayanga serious aayittu think cheyidirunnu Frank Hawking encouraged his son to follow him into medicine medicine povanayirunnu and Frank Hawking adhehate encourage cheyirunnathu but Stephen found biology too imprecise so Stephen Hawking sine biology padikkunnathu ishtallayirunnu kaaranam adhehathine biology il exact answers kittula ennalla oru thinking undayirunnu imprecise nu parney kenjale not exact nu krithyade illa biology ku endilla krithyade illa pakshe edine krithyade inde he wanted a subject in which he could look for exact answer and get to the root of things the exact answer kittuna subject padikkanayirunnu adhehathine thalpari 
Next paragraph. Young Stephen was now pre doggy. He was just an ordinary English schoolboy, slow in learning to read. His handwriting, the despair of his teachers, he wanted ranked no more than harmfully up in his class, though he now says in his own defense it was a very bright class. Young Stephen was now Predogi. Predogi means genius. Adeham a particular no genius ironilla. He was just an ordinary schoolboy. Sadarno, English schoolboy, Anginiano, other world than Erno, the Hundarna. Slow in learning to read. Ada, my can in a particular word with the Mutirno. His handwriting, the despair of his teachers. They had the teachers no Kathakina handwriting, but about the Mutimute and Dakanano. Despair no Nirasha. He was ranked no more than harmfully up in his class, though he now says in his own defense it was very bright class. And the class le to Moshe Rikutir and Stephen Hawking. Swisha Adeham a class in a good over near the Adeham Mosha Vanganam, a class in the Matula Kutuluk and then a bright eye don't know, they have Mosha Mai in Nana, they have in a good paranir in the day. Next. At 14, Stephen knew that he would pursue mathematics and physics. His father called this impractical, for there, for there were no jobs in mathematics except teaching. Moreover, he wanted his son to attend his own college, and Oxford, uh, and Oxford offered no mathematics. He followed followed his father's advice and studied chemistry, physics and only a little mathematics in preparation for the entrance into Oxford. He did well in physics and the interview was brilliantly accepted. At 14, um, Stephen knew that he would pursue mathematics and physics. Adhethri mathematics and physics in particular Graham. His father called this impractical for there were no jobs in mathematics except teaching. Mathematics in particular Adhethri father in the third period in the third period. Because Adhethri father in the third period in the third period teaching matre bolu where or job opportunity on the whole and other issues on the other. Moreover he wanted his son to attend his own college and Oxford uh, and Oxford no mathematics. Other one, he wanted his son to attend his own college. At the Hathinda College in the Magani Church, but he began at the end the Manichu. Oxford, mathematics, Ilerno. He followed his father's advice and studied chemistry, physics, and only a little mathematics. Other they have and they do at the Hathinda father in the advice of follow Chedit, chemistry and physics of Korcha mathematics and Badichu. In preparation for the entrance into Oxford, Oxford Lake and Oxford in the entrance exam in Pasa. He did well in physics. Physics la the night and night perform the interview was brilliantly accepted. Other than the Oxford University accepted. In 1959, at the age of 17, Hawking went to Oxford to study natural science and to specialize in physics. He joined University College, his father's college, and the oldest at Oxford founded in Founded in 1249, 1249 AD. In 1959, at the age of 17, Hawking went to Oxford to study natural science and to specialize in physics. Oxford Lake in a boy, Oxford in a natural science shadow physics specialized. He joined uh, university college. Uh, his father's college and the oldest at Oxford. Oxford is the oldest college in Oxford. Founded in 1249 uh, AD. That is the name of 1249 AD. Okay. Our class is wind up now. That's we will see next class. Inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.